Well, welcome to this joint UK drug testing and uh, drug testing kit and value med uh, presentation video of the new gamma hexyl butyrate GHB urine test kit. This is the full all test carton as you can see. Standard pack, box, data sheet inserts and 25 of the test cassettes. Let's just show you what they look like if I move that out of the way. This is the foil, standard all test C marked graphics on the front and on the rear we've got a GHB coding with lot number expiry and this is the interesting part that you need to retain the foil for it's a semi-quantitative uh, indicator of the concentration of GHB in the sample so open the foil and what you get is a cassette marked GHB the pad in the center section here which appears quite light let me bring it close to the camera. You can see that that is the results window. Uh, so to run a test, you remove the test cassette from the foil just before you are ready to perform the test. And using the pipette which is supplied with the test kit, take three drops of your sample and place it into the sample well. There we go. And now the test will take approximately five to 10 minutes to run. So what we're gonna do is stop the video and come back and show you this test and how to interpret the results. Well, we started the timer when we added the sample into the sample well. We're now at 10 minutes and you must read this test. The accurate results are those that are showing at 10 minutes exactly from when the sample was added. So let's have a look at this. You can see this is a negative sample. So there has been no color change on the central pad in the center of this test cassette. This is the comparison chart that you work with. And you can see that it's a darkening shade of pinky mauve that occurs with higher concentrations of GHB in the sample. So if the color change on your pad corresponds with the lighter shade, that would be a concentration of 10 micrograms per mil. And if it goes 50, then it goes to that darker shade. And shades beyond that would indicate higher levels of GHB, but at 10 minutes, then the quantitative determination is lost. So the parameters really only allow you to determine negative 10 and 50 micrograms per litre concentration. But that's a very simple, easy to perform, screen for GHB in urine. Detection window for GHB is relatively short due to its uh, volatility and rapid excretion. So you're looking at anywhere as short as two to three hours up to a maximum of 12 hours for urine detection realistically. Thanks for watching.